Hello and welcome to Value Chain TV News Update. I am Kabir Lewell with the news. And on the Value Chain TV News Update, a former president of Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, CIBN, Mr. Okechuku Enebu, has urged bank customers in Nigeria to approach the courts if they observe irregular deductions from their accounts. Enebu, who is also former managing director of Defunct Citizens International Bank, gave the advice in an interview with journalists. He spoke against the backdrop of complaints by bank customers on unexplained multiple deductions from their accounts. Valutin TV spoke to a few Nigerians on the development. The report. Uh, actually, the way bank are able to uh, use to charge uh, customer, especially in Nigeria, is terrible. Uh, I think there should be a law that guides all these uh, taxes of charging. I think the CBN should do more in their monetary policy to see how they will engage with banks and see how bank too will be restricted to so many taxes and charges. Because sometimes they will tell you there are monthly charges, but during the transaction again, there is also transaction charges again. There is also COT charges again. So you have so much accumulation uh, charges that they are charging. And then if you calculate the population of Nigeria, you see that this bank are even making more money than the citizen itself. And I don't know what the return they are giving back to the country or to the CBN. So I think CBN should look into, the, into this and try to see what policy will guide the citizen. Uh, I think it's very criminal in most cases because personally I experience it too. And sometimes I expect to see a particular amount of money in my account. And after a while I realize that the money has deducted tremendously. I don't even know how much they removed. And sometimes you don't even get the alert. So I think it's criminal. So I'd advise Nigerians to try to employ legal means. When you notice things like that in your bank account, talk to a lawyer. You know, you can even make a fortune out of it because it's very criminal. So talk to a lawyer, talk to a professional about these things. Because sometimes they're just stealing your money and you're sitting down. And you know, if it is actually true that these things are illegal, maybe you um, talk to a professional and you find out that they are criminally deducting your money. When you go to court, you get very good compensation and damages for it. So I'm going to encourage lawyers that if you see unnecessary debits, go and go to the court, go and, you know, sue them and you might make millions out of it. Ah, uh, that's, that's, that's so bad because so, sometimes uh, in my, in my um, alerts, I actually have a bank, my bank charging me exorbitantly and when you complain they will tell you it's your system error they do it like that and all of that they will not have any any resolution about it so it's quite it's quite bad i don't encourage that and nigerians we are we, we are too busy we don't complain so they keep on doing what they know how to do using us to make money so it's so bad i don't really subscribe to that but me, when they charge me exorbitantly like that, I complain to them. But even when you complain, they will not do much. Now to business news. The Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, NNPCL, has ended its exclusive purchase agreement with Mgote Refinery, opening up the market for other marketers to buy petrol directly from the refinery. According to media reports, NNPC will no longer be the sole off-taker, and marketers can now negotiate prices directly with Mgote Refinery. This development aligns with the current practices for fully deregulated products where refineries can sell directly to marketers on a willing buyer, willing seller basis. The federal government has begun the sales of crude oil in Nera as of October 1st. This was disclosed in a statement by the Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister for the Economy, Wale Edu. The statement said that the development is in line with the directive of the Federal Executive Council noting that this will have an enduring impact on Nigerian economy, eliminating the dollar effect on petrol prices. We'll now take a break. Valutin TV News update continues in a moment. Stay with us.
Welcome back from that break. Still on the Value Chain TV News update. The Nigerian Extractive Industry Transparency Initiative, NETI, has reported that over 5 trillion standard cubic feet of gas have been produced in Nigeria in the last two years. Tap Moses completes the report. A breakdown of the report revealed that 2.521 trillion standard cubic feet were produced in 2022, representing a decline when compared to 2.744 trillion standard cubic feet produced in 2021. While in 2023, the gas sector recorded a total production of 2.49 trillion standard cubic feet, representing a 1% drop in gas production when compared with the total production recorded in 2022. The figures were contained in the latest oil and gas industry independence report released by NATI in Abuja. NATI further disclosed in the report that a five-year trend analysis of 2019 to 2023 of gas production in Nigeria showed that the highest production volume of 3.048 trillion standard cubic feet was recorded in 2019 and the lowest of 2.491 trillion standard cubic feet was produced in 2023. This represented an 82.73% increase in the country's production capacity last year. For Value Chain TV, Chad Moses reporting. Nigerian's electricity distribution companies have earned a total sum of 887.86 billion naira as revenue in the first seven months in 2024 following the tariff increase for Band A customers and improved revenue collections. An analysis of data released by Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission NERC, which contains discussed commercial performance for seven months, also revealed that distribution companies had built a total of 1.14 trillion naira over period under review, but were able to collect 887.86 billion naira, achieving 79.7% revenue collection efficiency in the country. This information emerges as stakeholders in the sector decreased the borrowings from commercial banks by 28.8 billion naira. Now to international news. Crude oil prices remain unchanged as traders await the next development in the ongoing conflict between Israel and Iran following a major spike in prices last week. Brent crude and West Texas intermediate started this week flat after booking strongest rise in about a year with Brent trading about $78 a barrel and WTI trading below $75 per barrel. A big portion of the gains that oil prices made last week came after President Joe Biden said that the United States had discussed possible targeting of Iran's oil industry with the government in Tel Aviv. Now on sports news, the European tour broke in year 2023 thanks to 19.6 million euros funding from the Professional Golfers Association PGA of America. According to sports reports, underpinned funding from the PGA Tour is meant to clear the operation loss as the European Tour invested heavily in its tournament pools amid competition from the Breakaway Live Golf Tour and was also hit by inflation post COVID-19 chain increase. Last year was the first in which the European Tour benefited from direct support from the PGA Tour to offset its loses. That concludes the Value Chain TV News update. I am Kabir Lowell. For more news, don't forget to join us on our social media handles.